back to another short and sweet where the reviews are short. And it's really sweet that they shared it with us. It's really sweet that Penelope shared their new toasted rye with us. Mm -hmm. I'm a big fan of the Architect, which is their um, French oak project. I like that one a lot. So yes. I don't know that I've had the toasted rye before. Well, this is only their second release of it, so we probably missed the first one. Mm -hmm. But this is a 95, so 95% rye, 5% uh, malt of barley, around uh, six years old. Six years old, 100 proof. Well, six years and then it's aged in the toasted barrels. Correct. For an additional amount of time, 100 proof rye. Six years is pretty solid age statement for a rye, in mm -hmm. my opinion. I don't think they need to get super old and I don't think they need to get right. super high proof in order to be powerful. That's right. Suggested retail price on this one is $75, and there's about 36,000 bottles out there, so a good chance, and this is already released, that you can go out to your local store and uh, find it. Yeah. They're in like 40, 46, 48 states plus three countries. 47 states and three countries. I was close. Right there in the middle. Split the difference. Uh, before tasting this, I have to say I think 75 is not an unfair price considering it's a six-year-old 95% rye, you know, rye is a more expensive grain, right. it has a secondary finish. It is no longer sourced because uh, MGP or Ross and Squibb owns Penelope now, so. Right. <laughs> as long as it tastes good. As long as it tastes and good. And that's what we're here to talk about, so let's get to the sniffing part. I do like the nose a lot. I think that toasted really helps Ooh. tame that extra, you know, the spices from that high rye. A little desserty, little little uh, creme brulee. Mm -hmm. Yeah, some caramelized sugars, like the outside of a marshmallow being burned kind of. Yeah, with toasty, some, which with makes some spice, sense. campfirey a little bit. It does make sense. Mm -hmm. A little bit of graham cracker. I mean, I tend to get that with some toasted barrels, like a s'mores note. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Well, I dig the nose. Let's go in for the taste. Let's see your health. Whoa. Whoa. That's got a punch. It sure does. Wow. <laughs> I wouldn't want it to be any more than 100 proof. No, I wouldn't want it to be more than 100 proof either. Wow. I think it's so intense with the flavor, both from the rye and the toasted at a higher proof, I think it would just like, it would just ruin your palate. Like, blow your hair back. Yeah, blow your hair back, like burden your nostrils or mm -hmm, something. Mm -hmm. I feel like this is really gonna be a second um, I think sip. Too. This first sip, more so maybe than other whiskeys, is that acclimation, right? Mm -hmm. Let's go for that second sip. I think it's super delicate and, I don't know, texturally really nice and easy on the front of the palate, and then it really builds into that rye spice and heat and the toastiness. I think this is gonna be a great seasonal sipper. I mean, not that you couldn't drink it any time, but this feels perfect for fall, winter, maybe even holiday. I know 75 for a bottle is a lot, but I would like to put this in an old fashioned, like a fall old fashioned. Oh, oh yeah. Not every wow, single pour that. out of the bottle, but mm -hmm. you know, one or two. Sure. We can do that, it's fine, it's our bottle. Mm. You know what What else is perfect for fall and, and holiday times? Oh gosh, what? <laughs> Whiskeyambitions.com. It's where you can get the uh, the t-shirt that I'm wearing. Is there the t-shirt that you're wearing? It's our 24 hour flash sale that we're uh, starting to do more often now. It's in this black color or this green color actually that mm -hmm. I'm wearing. Uh, both of these colors of the Native Spirit shirt are 15% off 24 hours uh, from when this episode publishes. But it's also where you can get our Glen Cairns, our mini Glens. In fact, all of our glassware, candles, hats, hoodies, and more always coming soon at whiskeyambitions.com. And you can become a patron at patreon.com slash it's bourbonite and join our community for as little as one buck a month. And that is where you get access to our barrel picks, exclusive events, after the episode, content with us, and more. There you go. All right. Third sip for those keeping count at home. Is it? I don't know what sip it is for me. Well, definitely right that that first sip was the get yourself acclimated sip. It was also the first whiskey of the day. That can happen. But it does have power behind it. It's now, a lot. Second, third sip, you're really just getting more of those flavors because you are acclimated to it, accustomed to it, but it is powerful. I would say if you're more in the 80 to 90 proof range, this will read more than 100 for you. I think so too. I think again, it's that proof, but also the spice of the rye. If you are looking for something quote unquote smooth, smooth, I'm not saying that this isn't, it's just not as approachable as I think when someone has that idea of smooth in their head. This is a little bit more advanced of a flavor profile, especially it being the rye, um, than your average person looking for something smooth. If you're familiar with 95.5 ryes, again, very high 95% rye, and you're not a fan of those, you feel like that's too much rye, then this, at this proof, you know, might be a little bit of a warning flag. Now, I do feel like the toasted cask helps It does quell it just a little bit. It's not full on 95.5 in your face. Mm -hmm. However, the 100 proof, kind of levels things out to where, you know. It might be too much for you. Proceed with caution. I do think 
that the toasted oak along with the spice of the rye does create just the slightest bit of like tannic on the finish. Mm. So if you, if that's something you're not into, then maybe like point of caution. All of these are just points of caution for something that I really enjoy, yeah. to be honest. Yeah. I, I could see who though this is for some people and not for other people, Correct. just based on your preferences. So just trying to guide you a little bit there. Yeah, but if you like a nice, strong uh, rye flavor, also with those toasty campfire marshmallow <sighs> type flavors, which is very much in our wheelhouse, um, then then I would check this one out. Like I could totally see sipping on this at like a tailgate. Football season's coming up. If yes. you were this outside on a chilly, you know, chilly day and it, it you're tailgating and it's fall, I could, this would be perfect. Absolutely. Warm you right up. Oh. As it's doing right it now, it is warming me up. Which it's like August, so that's why we're thinking of you know more of the fall time. But I'm ready. Uh, I'm done with the 90 degrees. It's I'm, over. I'm getting there. All right. Well, that's where we better leave it. If you haven't subscribed us already, you can do so by clicking right up here. There's suggestions of other videos down here, and we hope to see you over there in one of those. Thanks, Sarah. Thanks, Chad. Thank you, Penelope. Until next time, drink more rye.